Welcome back to Entrendias. I have a brand new blog post on Entrendias.com. Buy and sell signals for July 29th earnings week. These are buy and sell signals based on Entrendias terminal, MIA, and volume breakout algorithms. These technical algorithms use volume and technical analysis calculations to consider buy and sell signals. And going through the terminal, clicking through, searching for every single stock individually can be a hassle. So this blog post, after you subscribe to uh, Entrendias.com, $0, Entrendias Essentials is free to subscribe to, gives you access to this list of all the tickers in this earnings week calendar. And for example, we see that both the MIA algorithm and the volume breakout algorithm considers Apple a sell. Apple is coming out with earnings on Thursday, the beginning of August uh, after market close. So this is a convenient way to, instead of searching up each stock individually, considering what Entrendias.com is saying, you could just go to this blog post and see all the stocks labeled out for you. For example, another big stock this week, Amazon. The MIA algorithm considers Amazon a sell. The MIA algorithm is up 27% on the back test compared to only 7% compared to the bought and held strategy. The VBA algorithm, the volume breakout, considers Amazon a hold. So you can compare the buy and sell signals. You can also compare using the back test and consider whether or not there's validity behind these buy and sell signals. But for this video, I'm going to be looking at McDonald's stock. I'm going to talk through McDonald's and the position and the play here. Uh, the MIA algorithm considers McDonald's a sell 18% up compared to McDonald's down 6% in this back test. And the VBA algorithm actually considers McDonald's as a buy. However, the volume breakout algorithm is actually down 5%. So the VBA may not be a good fit for McDonald's here. So I'm going to put more emphasis on uh, the MIA algorithms consideration here. So on Entrendias.com, I could type in MCD for McDonald's stock ticker, and I'm going to go for 2022 to 2024 today of recording July 27th, up 18% on this two-year back test. McDonald's is down 6% like we saw in this uh, spreadsheet here. Two year back test, 18%. Pretty good, pretty good gains on a stock that has been declining. So even on a downward facing stock, the MIA algorithm has been able to find key buy and sell positions. So for example, here we've been seeing some con consolidation in McDonald's stock price hovering between 260 and 240. And we saw a buy signal in July 11th, only for a sell signal to then appear July 24th. Right before earnings, we have this sell signal. So this could potentially be a put position for earnings going in Monday before market open here. And finally, we have a back test for uh, McDonald's stock compared to the MIA algorithm. So a hypothetical $10,000 investment on McDonald's stock, holding it for two and a half years, you'd be down to 9,300. But with Entrendia's buy and sell signals here, you'd actually be up to 11,800, assuming you buy and sell based on these signals right here. So now that we have that out of the way, McDonald's is already down 15% year to date. So a lot of the bad news could already be baked into this stock unless earnings showcases that the situation is worse compared to what investors 
once thought. Uh, from quarter one, we saw McDonald's earning misestimates with inflation and pricing has caused consumers to boycott and stop eating out, essentially, where McDonald's prices were becoming way too high. And for me personally, I think McDonald's kind of forgot why they're there in the first place. It's not that the food is delicious. It's that they're there to be there when you need them. You can have a really cheap meal, fast and ready when you need it. If I wanted to eat something good, I would have went to Chick-fil-A or something, right? If I wanted fast food, I'd rather go to Chick-fil-A. So here we have McDonald's stock price gouging. They got ahead of themselves, similar to Starbucks. They got way ahead of themselves. Now they had to pull back. So between quarter one and quarter two, they came out with the $5 meal. So this is kind of similar to Wendy's. They're competing with Wendy's $5 meal or the $5 biggie bag or whatever you want to call it. And this can be a boost for McDonald's stock going into earnings if they're able to recapture that market share that they've abandoned, right? So maybe they can win back some low income customers or just customers in general that are just trying to find a good deal. Um, so I'm, this would be a, a good revenue source for McDonald's as they bring back their prices. However, if this $5 meal deal is not enough to get customers to come back to the door, then we could definitely see a pullback in McDonald's stock going into Monday. And when I saw Lamb Weston release earnings last week, uh, Lamb Weston plummeted 25%. They were down 25%. And Lamb Weston produces potato products, frozen aisle, and they um, their customers are restaurants as well. So not just the grocery store, Lamb Weston also provides potato products to restaurants. And Lamb Weston's, one of their customers is indeed McDonald's. So Lamb Weston is supporting um, these fast food restaurants and the CEO from their recent earnings said they had market share loss, but also there was a slowdown in restaurant traffic in the U S and in key international markets and every single meal at McDonald's, what comes with it fries. So you're seeing lamb Weston who produces potatoes see a decrease in restaurant traffic in the US, so their profits are down. So what does that mean? McDonald's is purchasing less potatoes from Lamb Weston and other potato companies. They're, they're purchasing less potatoes, they're creating less fries. Why? Because consumers are not demanding restaurants and McDonald's meals as much as they used to. So. Now, on the flip side, you have different stories. So, for example, Chipotle actually had a great quarter. They had an earnings beat. And they had resilient brand loyalty, value proposition. Um, but you can also argue that the Chipotle customers are different to McDonald's customers. Chipotle is more so targeting the higher income, upper middle, uh, individuals with more disposable income compared to McDonald's. So there, there, you can argue that the clientele is a bit different. Even with a different clientele though, Chipotle stock jumped up, up 11% after hours, after earnings came out, only for the stock to plummet back and erase the gains from earnings. Ever since earnings, Chipotle is actually down 4.4%. Chipotle is down 4.4% even after great quarter two earnings blowout. And even with shares rising after hours, it got erased. These earnings got absolutely erased. Even though revenue jumped 18% year over year, that's 
billion dollars, almost $3 billion. But we can see that the market is still very nervous about this inflation thing. Clearly still very nervous. So if Chipotle has a rough earnings, I can kind of see McDonald's having a rough earnings as well. So that's my rundown of McDonald's. I do have a put option play uh, in place. It's not a big position though. Um, just more so me swinging for the fence with some with some fun money, but uh, not a big position for this McDonald's put. However, my McDonald's put was inspired because of my algorithm on Entrendias.com, Entrendias Terminal, the Mias algorithms to sell. And then I looked deeper into it. You know, I did a little bit of more research. I was like, okay, the technicals say to sell it. So we already see that um, McDonald's was down around 15%. And then we actually have McDonald's stock price consolidate um, man, I, I seem to always forget where the icons are. Here you go. So you have this consolidation of McDonald's stock, right? This bearish box pattern seems to suggest that we could actually see McDonald's go even lower, maybe to this, uh, support resistance line right here. But Essentially, this consolidation downwards could suggest a repeat, a continuation of this downward trend. Uh, it's the opposite of a bullish box pattern where you see consolidation like that before going any higher. So we're seeing the inverse of this happening right here. You see this consolidation happen right before earnings. So another bearish pinpoint uh, to point out. But anyway, um, my put position started because of the MIA algorithm saying sell, and I did a little bit more research into it personally. Um, definitely do your own research before investing. And of course, and trendy is, is not financial advice. But uh, I hope you find that this list is helpful um, instead of having to search individually for each stock in the Entrendias terminal. Instead of having to type it all here, you could just go to this list in the blog section of Entrendias.com. And here you'll find buy and sell signals for uh, these earnings, uh, stocks in the earnings season.